here in the Studio Inventivo makerspace at Explora. I'm working on a project for New Mexico EPSCoR, who have graciously funded this activity. I'm working on a, an activity that explores how our power grid works and how it will work in the future. And this has actually been done in several different phases. In the maker mindset, we try and focus on the design process. So that's thinking through your problem, coming up with a plan to solve it, and then prototyping it, testing it out, and then revising as necessary. So over here, you can see we have phase one of the project, which, you know, it starts with, we have some power transmission lines and you connect your neighborhood. That's what these are supposed to represent to your power, uh, like you would in your own neighborhood. And so we have it connected and you can see these are supposed to be magnetic. There's a little magnet pad and we just use some brads here. And when you, there it goes. <clears throat> when you push on it, it lights up. But the intention is that when you put it down straight onto the pad, it should just turn on like that. So there's a little bit of a glitch here that we're trying to work through. And over here, we have version 2.0. So you can see we use some acrylic and some wood that we laser cut. <clears throat> and I've put some magnets in and wrapped the copper wire around the screw in the center here. And so if I take, let's see here, if I take these alligator clips off and attach them to our neighborhood, our new neighborhood, these neighborhood blocks are gonna be a little bit smaller. Um, the idea is that everybody will be able to get their own neighborhood and design their neighborhood as necessary. So here we have a few houses, right? And some of the things that we'd like to be able to put in here is, you know, maybe a store or two, an office building, uh, even maybe even a little model of Explora that we can attach right to our neighborhood. And ideally you put this on and it lights up just like that. So you see here, there's some screws. And if I just click it on, now it's powered and I can power my whole neighborhood that way. And you can kind of get a sense of how the power grid works. So your neighborhood is connected to the transmission wires, which come from a power plant somewhere in New Mexico. And this is version two of this prototype.